guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is probably gonna be pretty short and sweet, but I wanted to hop on here because I get a lot of questions on my videos asking me what brushes I use when I apply foundation, just any kind of like cream product to my face. And although I do use a sponge quite often, there are times where I use a brush. And I wanted to just make a whole video including all of the information about the brush set that I use because it is such an affordable set. And if you are in the market for makeup brushes, like a Kabuki set, but you don't want to spend the like 80 some dollars or whatever it is to buy the Sigma set, then I have a brush set here for you that is going to be amazing. It's super affordable and they are great quality. So if you want to see my favorite Kabuki set of brushes from Amazon, then just keep watching. This video is going to be all about that. I'm going to tell you the price and everything, how I like them. Basically, it's just going to be a mini review of these brushes, and I definitely recommend them to you because they are so good. So the company that I am talking about is BS Mall, and you can find these brushes on Amazon. There are several different types of brush sets that you can get from them. These are just the brushes that I have been using for like the past two years and loving. So the one that I have is this Kabuki set here. You get five face brushes and five eye brushes, which I will show you in a little bit. But as you can tell, they're just pretty much the typical like sculpt set that you get from anywhere like BH Cosmetics. Sigma, which are really expensive. I came across these brushes when I was looking on Instagram, I think I was looking for a new set of brushes, and I really did not want to spend the money on really high-end brushes. I just wanted to find something that was a little bit more affordable because if they broke, it was no big deal. I could just repurchase more. So I went on to Amazon and I found this set of 10 brushes, like I said, five face brushes and five eye brushes, and I immediately ordered them because I was like, they look so good. So when I got them in the mail, I was super impressed, and like I said, I have been using these for two years, and they still look like they're brand new brushes. Other than the fact that some of the writing is coming off on the little stem of the brushes, they have just lasted me so well, and I've had no problems with like the bristles coming out on them. So I'm just gonna go into depth about what brushes you get in the set. The first brush is this face angled one. So it's basically just an angled brush that is a little bit rounded on the top. This one is really good for doing like contour on the side of your face or applying cream blushes and stuff like that. The next one is your typical face flat kabuki brush. This is very similar to the Sigma F80 and it's just really good for buffing in I use it for more liquidy type foundations where I just really need to like buff it into my skin and make sure that it, everything is blended really well. The bristles on this are nice and dense but not too dense to the point where you have a hard time moving product around on your face. They are so soft and I have no problems with them like scratching my face. These are probably the softest brushes I have used. I do have some brushes from this brand Real Techniques. They are also an amazing affordable brand for brushes but this one I do find makes little scratches on my face like it just doesn't feel as soft as this guy does this one is more of like the next brush i'm going to show you you also get a face round brush so this one is more similar to the real techniques one but this one is really good for buffing out more thick foundations so i use it for creams and for stick foundations where you really just need to like move the product around and make sure it blends into your skin this one is more dense than the face flat so you get two really great face brushes that are both so soft and I use these ones non-stop for different types of foundations. You also get a face flat angled. So this is like the same thing as the face flat round, only obviously this one is flat on the top. This one is also really good for buffing and contours and sticks. However, I do prefer this one because it is slightly more dense. This one I don't get a ton of use out of because it is a little bit less dense. Still a really great brush and it can be really good for applying more liquidy foundations. I just tend to stick with the face flat brush, but they are both amazing for more liquid products. And then the last face brush that you get in this set is this face tapered and this is the only one that has slightly different bristles than the other one. This one feels more synthetic and it's not quite as soft, but it is still very, very soft. I use this one for like dabbing in concealer under my eyes or you can use it to clean up your contour. It's just a really great brush to have in your kit. And even though the bristles on this one are slightly different, it's still a really great quality brush. All of these brushes that I'm talking about are amazing quality. Because I have this brush set, I don't feel the need to go and buy another Kabuki set that's like $100. I just think these brushes work as well as 
some of the high-end brushes that you can get. Now for the eye brushes, you do get five eye brushes, but I really only use one of them because the other four I just don't really see a use for. But I'm gonna tell you guys the price and everything in a little bit, and even though I only use one eye brush, it's still incredibly worth the price that you're gonna pay. This is the one that I tend to use more than the other ones. This is basically just a buffing brush. It's nice and soft, and it's just really good for buffing out your shadows in your crease. Now the other four are the ones that I don't particularly use. Before I had more makeup brushes, I did use this one because this is still a good brush. I just have other ones in my collection now that I tend to gravitate towards but this is still a really good brush if you're just starting out in makeup and you're just looking for something that's gonna blend this is a angled blending brush and this one is really good for getting like right in that crease area right here and just making sure everything is blended out on your outer corner I still like this brush like I said I just have other ones in my collection that I like a little bit more but for the price that you pay and if this is your first brush set this is going to work really well for you the other three I don't really use at all these two I have no idea what their purpose is on on these brushes they actually don't say what they are there's nothing on the stem of this brush and then the last one I believe is meant to be like a pencil brush to blend shadows underneath your lower lash line but the brush tip is huge on this so I have a hard time kind of getting it under my lower lash line and blending everything out I definitely go for a smaller blending brush underneath my lower lash line so like I said you can buy this kit off of Amazon by the way this video is not sponsored at all I purchased these brushes with my own money so this brush set is a little bit older they have updated the set to include more eye brushes that are usable which I really appreciate because like I said I just don't use those eye brushes very much they still have this set online that you can purchase for $18.99 I'm just looking at my computer if I keep like losing eye contact um, yeah so $18.99 is what will get you the 10 brush set so if you want to spend a little bit more money a dollar actually for $19.99 you can get the five face brushes that I just talked about which are the exact same ones and then you can also get nine eye brushes, I believe, yeah. 14 pieces, so nine eye brushes. And these brushes, just looking at the picture now, they look a lot more usable. You get like a blending brush, a liner brush that has a spoolie on the end, a flat shader brush, like liner brushes. So you can purchase this set on Amazon.com as well. It is a lot cheaper than the Canadian price. It is $9.99 for the US price. Like I said, $18.99 for the Canadian price. Okay, so just for Proper reference I'm looking on the Sigma site right now and those five brushes that I talked about you get pretty much the exact same brushes in Sigma's Kabuki kit the Sig Max Kabuki kit and they are 90 US dollars just for the face brushes and I have felt the Sigma face brushes they now sell them in Hudson's Bay just a few of their more popular ones and I felt them and honestly you guys I can say that they feel literally the exact same as these ones I would never purchase a set for $90 when I know that I can get really great brushes at a way affordable price. So I'll just show you guys up close what these ones look like. Like I said, this one is a little bit less dense than the other ones, but you can just see they look so soft. I've just cleaned mine so they're nice and clean. And then this part right here feels very sturdy. The brush itself is pretty light. Like it doesn't feel like this part here is completely wood. It almost feels slightly hollow or it's just a very light wood or whatever it's made out of. It feels very sturdy to me. It feels very usable. I have no problems with the quality of these brushes. And like I said, with the top here, I have no problem with the bristles coming out when I wash them. When you do first receive them, when you pull them out of the package, they will smell like chemicals. But my brushes from like Morphe and everywhere else I've purchased brushes from always smell like chemicals. So you will wanna make sure you wash these before you use them and then just let them dry. These dry pretty quickly for me. I always take a towel and after I finished washing it, I just rub it in the towel and then set it down and let it dry and then I just fluff the bristles back together once it's fully dry and that whole process takes less than 24 hours like they're ready to use the next day after you wash them the only one kind of con that I have about these brushes is typically with your more high-end brushes you will have more of a pinched top right here so the only thing that I would say like this one is not bad actually but let's see if I can find one that's a little bit so for this one in particular as you can see this part here is not super pinched so the brushes even though they are still nice and dense in there you can kind of see down into that area there which with more expensive brushes you do tend to get a more pinched top here but that has not affected the use of the brushes at all and like I said I have no problem with like products getting down into that little crevice there 
there and staying there. And if I wash my brushes, the water doesn't stay in there. Like these are not moldy at all. They dry nicely. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. If you guys want to see like a full brush set collection type video and what other brushes I use, because I do use a lot of other affordable brushes. These are just my favorites. I can do a whole video on that or like how I clean and dry my brushes, how I take care of them so that they still look as good as new when I've had them for two years. Then just let me know in the comments down below and I can definitely do a video all about like my whole collection of brushes. If you also have any good recommendations for affordable brushes, make sure you leave them down below so other people watching this video can go and check those out. Also, this is totally random and not having to do with this video at all, but I'm in the market for a new high-end concealer and I really want to try the Tarte Shape Tape, but I hate ordering stuff online and waiting for it and my last order from Tarte took forever to get here and like I said I live in Canada so we don't have Ulta here so I can't go purchase it at Ulta so let me know some good brands some high-end brands that have really great concealers that I can go try it down below because I really need to go pick one up nothing to do with this video but <laughs> I would really like to hear some of your recommendations that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one don't forget to subscribe before you leave or give this video a like if you feel like it and I will catch you later